hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in revit architecture 2024 for beginners i am architect sonu rai from glad studio and in this today video tutorial i am going to teach you how to create levels in revit so if you look at this architecture tab here in your ribbon panel if you go at this end on the extreme right you can see this datum here this category and you can see there is grid how to place grids and how to place label and shortcut command for label is ln but this is a uh, grayed out if i am going to select is not getting selected but if i am going to select this grid it will get selected so i will discuss in the next class about the grid so first we'll concentrate on this label so if you look at this definition here it adds a label to the model but i am not able to select this level so for this uh, you can say what is the reason behind this the reason is that we are in our floor plan view if you uh, go to your left and see this project browser you can see there is floor plan ceiling plans 3d views elevations and if you draw sections also this will be reflected here so, and you can see a schedule and quantities seats so i am at level one you can see this is simple uh, a room plan here and it's a uh, level one and if i'm going to select this level here ll i'm not able to select this so for this you are required to go to your elevations here and you can select any elevation east north south west so i'm going to suppose north here and you can see here there are only two levels in revit uh, this is the default if you open revit for the first time you can see only two levels and now we can see we are uh, we can see here the level is activated here and you can easily select this level and you can see there is a draw here draw panel and there is a line and a peak lines and you can see here the place level here and you can see the offset if you want to get any offset to your levels you can see, uh, give by using offset here and you can properties you can see there is level here and one by four inch head you can go to edit type and edit this so we'll do this later and now we are in our plan view and if you look at your 3d view also you can see these levels the default levels in 3d view also so in the higher versions of revit you can see in 3d view also but in older versions you may not find this 3d view of the levels so now you if you want to uh, draw any uh, further levels so suppose if you want to draw first uh, second floor third floor fourth floor and so on or if you are working on your apartment projects you are required to draw multiple levels so how you will do this so i am going to select this level first here in elevation mode so first thing you need need uh, need to be keep in mind that you are required to go to any elevations view and if you go to your floor plans you will be not able to select your levels so you are required to go to any elevations mode here so now i want to draw any level here so suppose level three so i'm going to select level here and first i will show you by selecting this line here and you can see now i want to draw from you can see this is the temporary dimensions and again i am going to draw from 10 feet and i will click once and then i will move to my right and you can see there is a reference line in line which is uh, making all the levels at similar distance so you can see this dash dash line and you can click once and now you can see here this is the uh, level 3 here and this is drawn here so this is level 2 at 10 feet and this is level at 20 feet so you can change this uh, level also height here from selecting any levels and you can change it to suppose if you want to make it 12 feet just enter 12 feet it will be at 12 feet if you want to reduce you can make it 8 feet and it will be 8 feet so 
so on you can draw this levels here and you can see this is for create or remove a length or alignment constraint if you select this will be unlocked here and you can see here hide bubble so if you want to hide bubble you can select this and if you select this the bubble will be on so you can see this also again if you want to draw the next level here so you can go to architecture level and again you can draw any other level so suppose if you want to draw other level level 4 you can use this and you can bring this to this level here and adjust by this dash line you can make it symmetrical so all the level at the same distance so this will look nice and you can increase or decrease your height from here also so you can double click here and you can make this as suppose if you want to make this as a 35 feet this will be at a 35 feet and if you want to make this again to 30 feet just double click it and make it 30 feet so these are the method of drawing levels now if you go to your architecture levels here you can see this is peak line so i was using line only simple line to draw this now you can simply use this peak line and you can see here offset here is giving zero feet zero inches so i want to draw again at the level offset level of 10 feet so i'm going to enter 10 feet and we are required to select any of these lines so suppose i'm going to draw select this line here level 4 you can see this is the reference dash dash line you can see this it is going upward direction so i'm going to click once on my uh, level 4 and you can see this next level is drawn again you can pick this level 5 level 6 will be drawn again you can pick a level 6 level 7 will be drawn and so on you can draw n numbers of levels by using pick lines so this will save uh, your time and if you want to uh, draw lower levels also from level 1 to downwards direction just click on your level one and your next level suppose if you want to draw basement you can draw this by using pick lines so pick lines is uh, faster than using lines so this is the method of drawing your levels and you can select any levels and you can edit this going to edit type here and you can duplicate create a duplicate and you can change the color here and suppose i want create a duplicate of this level 10 and you can see this is the elevation base the project base point and survey point so these are the survey point and this is the project base point so you can keep it def uh, default here and you can see the line weight so like in autocad you are uh, you will use line weights so here also this is the numbering one two three four so this will be more thicker if you go downwards here so suppose i am going to make this as a uh, line weight as a five and you can change the color from uh, here also so this is a default black if you want to give it red you can select red here and line pattern is grid line one and a half inches you can select this and you can see this downward arrow select this and you can change this line pattern also and suppose i want to dot 3 by 16 inches and symbol level head circle so you can see this is the level head circle if you want to change this also level head no bubble you can change this level head no bubble and symbol at end one default is unchecked so you can uh, check this also or you can and uh, uncheck this also and i am going to check this to show you difference and symbol at end to default is also checked and now this is export type to ifc that is not of our cup of tea so now i'm going to apply okay and you can see here this is changed to red uh, dot line here and you can see this is the level 10 and you will find in other directions also this level i have selected in both direction so you can change this also you can go to again edit type and you can change to any other color suppose i'm going to select blue here 
and you can change the line pattern because it's not visible so i'm going to use double dash 3 by 8 inches and level head no bubble i'm going to make this as a level head circle and i'm going to uncheck this again apply okay and you can see this is the blue line and now this bubble is only at a one end and now it's uh, clear to you how to make labels and create a labels and how to use line and pick lines so now you can easily create labels in your uh, project so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye